Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of the items that I picked up during the month of May, so stick around. So during the month of May, we did have some really great releases for 4K, some import titles, and a lot of just standard Blu-ray releases that I was able to pick up. So I thought I would take time today to show you what all I was able to get. Um, these are just kind of in a random order. Um, I did get Mayhem in the Multiverse. I do enjoy the um, DC animated films, so I was happy to pick that one up. Same way with Constantine, um, The House of Mystery. Really like the artwork on that one. And then we had the big release of the Batman. I was able to get the Blu-ray release, the 4K release, the Target exclusive with a variant slipcover, and the Best Buy Stillbook. And I also was able to get the Walmart exclusive box set, which I'm just going to keep sealed up. Okay, we also got the Alfred Hitchcock um, Classics Collection Volume 2 with all these great titles. And then I got the slipcover editions. I got Shadow of a Doubt, Saboteur, The Trouble with Harry, Family Plot, and Marnie. And then we also got a nice collection of Jurassic Park 4K releases. So we have just Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So very nice to have slipcover editions of those. We got The Sum of All Fears, and Patriot Games with a slip. And then we got this film called Infinite, which I have not checked out yet, but I've heard some pretty good reviews of this. So very happy to have that one in the collection. And we did get Beverly Hills Cop 2, which is great. I really enjoyed this film. And then some still books that we got are Hell or High Water, which I love the still book. We did get Friday the 13th Part 3 still book, which I do hope that they continue doing those. And then we had the release of Turning Red. So I got Turning Red, the Target exclusive, the 4K release, the Disney Movie Club um, Blu-ray release with the slip, and I got the um, Zavi UK edition of the Steelbook on Blu-ray. And then we got Smoking Aces on 4K with a slip, and also with a Steelbook. And then we got the release of Uncharted. So I got the Blu-ray release with the slip, the 4K release with the slip, and I was able to get the Steelbook release. And same way with the Untouchables, I got the slipcover edition and also the Steelbook release. Okay, some of the standard Blu-ray releases I got. I got um, Dog, Death Valley, Mutant Blast, Extreme Prejudice for the um, Vestron Collector Series, got Top Gun, another copy of Top Gun with a new slip, The Cursed, The Boys Seasons 1 and 2 collection, Slasher Flesh and Blood, Behind the Monsters, Robocop the Series, Licorice Pizza, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, Kicking Blood, Warmwood Apocalypse, Clean, X, and Top Secret. And then from Kino Lorber, I got Treasure of the Four Crowns. Son of Samson, Without Warning, Violent City, Francis the Talking Mule 7 Film Collection, and then I got from Cauldron, I got um, Contraband, and I got the variant slip cover, so I got both slips, uh, Murder in a Blue World. 
From 88 Films, I got Stone. Half a Loaf of Kung Fu. Violent City. And then from 101 Films, I got Johnny Mnemonic. And then from Shout Factory and Screen Factory, I got Two for the Money. The Craft 4K. Um, Pupel of Chimney Town, or however you pronounce that. Um, Escape from New York 4K. Candyman 4K. Life Force 4K. Bell. Cursed. Happy Death Day. And Happy Death Day to You on 4K. And then I finally um, got the Saved by the Bell complete DVD collection. Um, this right here is in a hard box. It was going out of print. I do believe I went ahead and grabbed that while I could. And then I did get the media book for The Sadness. Um, Chucky Season 1, the box set with all of this content with it. Um, Revolver from Eureka. Vampire from Eureka. I got The Contender. This right here is an Imprint Films release. Bloody Sunday from Imprint. The Warriors box set from Imprint. And I got After Dark Neo Noir Cinema Collection 1. And then I got from um, Indicator, I got this collection with these three movies at the bottom. I got Girls Not Out from Arrow Video. Also the 4K release for Candyman. Deadly Games. Wild Things. This right here is the Steelbook release in a box set. The Brotherhood of Satan. One Armed Boxer. The Scare Maker, and just the regular box set, 4K release for Wild Things. And then I did get just a few more titles. I got the Lethal Weapon 4 film collection with this slip, Beetlejuice, Pacific Rim, American Sniper, Ready Player One, Batman 4 film collection. Goodfellas, The Dark Knight Trilogy, and then lastly but not least, I got the Drive Second Sight box set, which I'm really happy to have in the collection. So those are all the titles that I picked up during the month of May. So hopefully you were able to pick up all of the items that you wanted during the month of May. Um, I was happy to be able to get the items that I was able to get. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my pickups. And also let me know what you picked up during the month of May because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.